What's going on everyone? It is Ethan here with another video where today we're going to be taking a look at NSYNC's Home for Christmas. This album was released back in 1998 and yeah, turns 25 years old this year. It's kind of insane and yeah, it's a really, really great NSYNC album. If you haven't seen my last video, I reviewed the original NSYNC debut, which you can kind of see right there. But today we're going to be taking a look at Christmas album, as I said. So first track, Home for Christmas. Really, really great track, if not one of the best tracks off this album. Really, really fun little Christmas song. Next up, Under My Tree, another great song, which most of these songs on here are going to sound very similar and like slower because they're Christmas songs and stuff, but that doesn't take away from any of the tracks. I think all the tracks on here are good to an extent. Um, there's no bad tracks on this album. Just really, really, just a great album overall. Um, Under My Tree, I Never Knew the Meaning of Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Just great, amazing, like amazing vocal performance, amazing like tracks. And I really love like on some of these songs, we get to hear like Chris's voice, which, you know, on the last one, we got to hear him on like, um, I Think of You Driving, or Driving Myself Crazy or whatever, but you know, we get to hear him some more on here, which is really, really nice. And yeah, um, the Christmas song, Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire, you know, that's just a classic song. And that's another thing I like about Christmas albums, too, is that, um, you know, everyone knows the classic Christmas song. So, you know, when someone makes an album, you know, you already know some of the lyrics to some of the songs because, you know, it's, they're just covering it, which is always pretty nice. Um, I guess it's Christmas time. Another pretty good track. The first Noel, it's 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 pretty good. Um, I enjoy it. Um, in love on Christmas, um, not one of my favorites, but still a good track. As I said, it's Christmas. Um, yeah, I mean it's pretty good. Um, but my favorite track on the entire album is Oh Holy Night acapella. Just any acapella track, in my opinion, is just great, especially in sync, and. Yeah, Oh Holy Night Acapella is just my favorite track off this album, and I just really love that track. Next up, Love's In Our Hearts on Christmas Day. Another just great vocals, great song overall. The Only Gift, that is another just great song. I, I, I just really like this. And the final track on this album, Kiss Me At Midnight. Just a great way to end the album, in my opinion, a great song. And I know I might sound like a broken record, saying, you know, all these songs, you know, it's a great song, great song. But this album, this album is great overall. But, I mean, you could probably, probably say this for any Christmas album. All the tracks, or most of them, are going to sound similar in a way. Because, you know, the theme of all the tracks and, you know, the instruments and stuff, usually like bells and, you know, just Christmas. Like, it's Christmas, which I love Christmas, so I don't really have a problem with this. But, you know, for other people, like other Christmas albums or... Even this one, I don't know, it might sound repetitive or something, but I would definitely recommend listening listening to NSYNC's Home for Christmas this holiday season. Phenomenal album, in my opinion. I'd rate it 8 out of 10, just like I rated the last one, 8 out of 10. This one is also 8 out of 10. Great track, and definitely listen to Oh Holy Night Acapella. That is just amazing. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my review of Home for Christmas. Stay tuned for next time or I will be reviewing No Strings Attached. So yeah, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Goodbye.